Tonight, the shutdown of Jacksonville University's football program is a disappointment for players and parents. The school announced this morning that the resources required to support football outweighed the benefits. On your side's Troy Kless now with more on the school's decision. Jacksonville University staff say that this decision was made in the best interest of the school and its athletics programs overall, while some feel that this may have an impact on student enrollment in the long term. Matt Thomas's son, Caleb, a freshman offensive tackle at JU, he learned this morning the team is no more. Don't have all the answers, but uh, definitely shocked and, um, you know, disappointed. Some players immediately announced they want to play elsewhere. The Dolphins played in the non-scholarship Pioneer Football League. Athletic Director Alex Ricker Gilbert saying this was not a financially driven decision. This decision was truly about the long-term health of the university, long-term health of the athletics department. But it's no secret football attracts students to a college. Sports business contributor Christy Dosh believes this may impact male student enrollment for the school. You're potentially taking away, you know, 60, 80. I would be curious to know um, how that played into JU's decision. That decision, leaving the players like Thomas in limbo. For the kids, they're going to have to look at what's important, whether they transfer and play football or stay there and, and get education. JU says that it will be offering full scholarships for those student athletes that choose to stay, and they also say they are continuing to assist the staff in searching for another job. Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side.